But this is the most interesting bit. Look at this. Listen to that. Good morning, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Look at this, guys. I've come across this. Um, Orbis wheel. They basically make hub motor wheels for cars. So like we do with the e-bike kits, you can basically do with a car. I know this kind of thing has been around for a little while, but um, it seems like this company is, is pretty advanced in, in its technology. Look at this, look how crazy this is. So the motor's kind of in there, and you basically just, this assembly fits on the knuckle, like the suspension knuckle of any car. You basically just tell them what car you want to fit it to, and they basically make a mount for that vehicle. So if, in effect, you could just literally just stick this on the back of, well, I could stick this on the back of my car, and it becomes a hybrid. And each wheel could produce something like 100 horsepower or 150 horsepower. So you could get like 300 horsepower from the back wheels. It all maps into the throttle position sensor on the on the car, so you could literally just bolt this on any car, even if it's got an engine. Look, I'll show you what they did. I've already been talking to the CEO of this company, trying to find out more. So this is like the principle, look, it's got like this kind of internal gears built in brake disc, but this kind of offset gear increases the torque just crazy it's a bit like a geared hub motor really like on a bike but this is the most interesting bit look at this listen to that love it so that video was back in like 2019 and things have moved on quite a bit now um so they've kind of enhanced everything you've got like torque vectoring um crazy stuff there's another picture another video i was looking at and there was basically like a rally car they'd done and it was just spinning around on the spot because obviously, you know, outside wheels go one way. <laughs> what purpose that would be? I mean, it might be great for parking, but how interesting you could just literally, you know, get those motors, bolt them on, um, battery. The controllers are separate as well. They're not built into the motor. You could mount them somewhere else in the car. And then basically you've got yourself a hybrid. So you could run run this on any car. You could literally have like a, an engined car um, and then you could flick to electric only or you could just, you know, get on a motorway or something like that and just have this just trickling, you know, on uh, low power for the for the electric side. It's crazy stuff, isn't it? It's just got me thinking, you know, we do DIY kits for, for bikes, maybe we could do it for cars as well. You know, this is the sort of thing we should be doing, converting old cars to electric or to hybrid power at least, not building new overcomplicated cars that are just gonna be junk in a few years time because the batteries have kind of moved on. Imagine those wheels on there. I'd have like 600 horsepower. <laughs> well, actually probably about 700 brake horsepower once the mods are finished on this one. Could have the best of both worlds. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, those motors, I think they're the same motors that are used in that new Aptera. You know that solar powered vehicle um, thing, which looks quite interesting. Yeah, same motors as those. Oh, on the way to the studio, I wanted to check out this place, the Auto Finesse place. It's just only down the road. More bits. That cloth was a lot cheaper than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's worth a look down there. Definitely know what they're talking about. Um, it's, it's an awesome setup actually they've got there with, with the like three booths and all of that. The lighting looks really good as well. It's very similar to, well, actually I'll say, I'll say Affinity is better. Affinity Detail is definitely better because it's a bigger area. They've got a ramp and everything else. Um, yes, yeah, so if you need your car detailed in Milton Keynes, go check out Affinity. I've done a video like way back. I don't know how many how many weeks ago it was now, but yeah, basically hit Leah. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, yeah, go check them out. They're in Milton Keynes. So if you're in that area and you want your car, even if even just like a decent wash, I think they've got a deal going on at the moment. Anyway, I'm over it. I keep seeing this. I've put this here for a reason because I need to get it sorted out. Um, so this is my this is my road legal bike. This this is actually registered. Um, it's got a plate not on it at the moment but it has got a 20 registration which is wicked um but there's something something's happened with the battery so my diy battery that i made has finally given up the ghost one cell's gone down in there so there's there's 20 cells um well in, in total there's about 100 cells in here but basically one bank of cells has gone down so i don't think i'm gonna rip them all out and repair this battery i think i'm just gonna maybe just stick lipos in it to get it going for the summer um because it's just an amazing bike and riding it around legally down the middle of the road <laughs> is such a blast and you can have quite a lot of fun um, ripping away from cars at the traffic lights and stuff like that so yeah i need to get this sorted out and i've kind of left it here so that it keeps reminding me every time i come in here you need to sort me out sort me out 
please sort me out. There's various other toys over here as well that need sorting out, like this Traxxas Summit, which has been brushless converted and then that broke. Look, check this out. I've got a brushless motor in there now. <laughs> I don't think I showed this on a video, but um, it's absolutely insane. Like it literally just flips up. You give it full throttle, it will just flip. Um, completely and utterly ridiculous. I'm gonna take this with me actually, fix it up and give it a blast. Right, I need to go and pick more stuff up from the, from the post office that's turned up. I don't even know what it is. I'm getting a bit inundated with stuff at the moment. It's like Casey Neistat. Do you remember anyone what used to watch Casey Neistat where he had that mail time thing, it was just a massive pile of boxes and he just had to go through each thing. I feel like I feel like that. It's crazy. So is there anyone watching that might be thinking, what is he doing? He's just literally just bumming around all day. Um well, I mean not not all of it, <laughs> not the whole day. Um I've basically got you know, obviously you know I've got a couple of businesses. I've got Kirby Bike, which does the um, does all the e-bike kits. Um, I've also got uh, Cloudstow, which is, you know, a little bit more quiet lately, um, which does the mini PC stuff, like, I'm still, I'm still doing that. Yeah, and I'm also trying to sort out a new little venture um, with my good friend, Ringway Manchester, Lewis, uh, Ringway Manchester channel. So we, we're trying to sort something out with that at the moment and um, all will be revealed soon. I'm not gonna say anything about it now. Um, but yeah, basically, yeah, we've got quite a lot of things to do um, to get that sorted. So yeah, busy, busy, really. Okay. I've got my ID. In this day and age, when you don't really take your card around anymore, um, luckily I've actually got my card in my car. That's another thing they need to sort out to start actually having some sort of ID that's acceptable on your phone, don't they really? Got it. I think I know what this is. The company's been emailing me. This little air freshener that auto finesse chucked in is actually pretty nice. A very manly smell. Yeah, I thought it was this. Wireless phone conduction headphones. Might be useful for e-bikes. Now I'm doing the world's most random shop. Cat litter, cat milk and flowers from my mum because she's been looking after the cats for me. This is Naboo. Winnie. On the way back now. It's time for a bit of Clive action. <laughs> guys as it's nearing bedtime we're gonna have a look at the toothbrush funnily enough I've actually I was in the market for a toothbrush um, but I was actually told by the dentist to get one that's got like an oscillating head oh, I can't to do this this one says sonic electric toothbrush interactive smart oral care oh it's got a color screen on it ultra cleaning efficiency 40,000 rpm 60 days battery life and waterproof what you want from an electric toothbrush. Pretty nice packaging. Right, there's the actual toothbrush itself. Um, feels pretty nice. Metal at the end. I don't know, it's sort of like plastic, shiny plastic. Peel that off. Oh, nice script. I mean, how crazy. Yeah, we want this to be an English toothbrush. What are these then? The different whitening, massage, sensitive, polish. Back to clean again. And that's the battery that were there, I suppose. Pretty smart looking screen. So how do we start the thing? Press that to start it and then press it again and it pauses. And if you saw that little logo down the bottom as well. So you might have wondered what this is. Um, I think that might be some sort of secret kind of usage for this thing. It basically just comes off and then you can put your, put your toothbrush on top of it and that's the actual toothbrush that it comes with. So look, you've got, so there you go, that's running. And you can actually put it on the desk, you can hear there. You can change the different. And so unlike a lot of these toothbrushes, um, which charge like via a sort of induction type thing, this one has actually got a USB-C port in the bottom underneath this sort of waterproof cap. So, you know, make of that what you will, but I'm gonna stick it on charge anyway. Also, you get a lot of feedback on this screen after the brushing process is done to give you a, an idea of how successful it was. I don't know how it knows that, but yeah, we'll give it a go anyway. 
Right, that's it, guys. I've really stoked to a new live review in toothbrushes, haven't I? Catch you later.